Percentage is an important topic as a part of preparation. Not only because we get direct questions from percentages, but also because the understanding of percentages helps us easily attempt problems from other areas in quantitative aptitude. So this video is all about percentage equivalent of fractions. What is percentage? Any value expressed on the base of 100 or over a base of 100 is called percentage and is represented as modulus. Cent represents the base of 100. Right? For example, if it is 30 percentage, we can write it as 30 by 100. 40 percentage means 40 to the base of 100. Right? So both are equal. 2.5 percent means 2.5 by 100. So here I have some example for you to make the percentage concept clear. Assume you have 300 rupees with you. So this 300 rupees is obviously 100 percentage for you, right? So you have 300 rupees with you. You can spend the complete 300 rupees. So you have 100 percentage of the amount with you. Your friend is asking a 60 percentage of the amount which you are having. So you have to give only 60 percentage. So we know 60 percentage means 60 to the base of 100, 60 by 100, right? So you have to give 60 percentage of the amount 300 which you are having so you can write it as 300 into 60 by 100 so 300 into 60 by 100 it gives you 100 and 300 for three times so 3 into 60 you get 180 so 60 percentage of 300 means 180 rupees so you have to give 180 rupees to your friend which is 60 percentage of 300 so instead of 60 percentage if he asked 2 percent 2 percentage you have to write 2 by 100 so 2 by 100 into 300 it gives you 6 rupees so 6 rupees is 2 percentage of 300 right so these values are quite simple you don't have any decimal places so instead of this 60 percentage if you have something like 12.5 percentage right so you can make it as 12.5 by 100 it consume lot of time so for this type of problems i have some shortcuts so let me solve this problem using a shortcut now percentage equivalent of fractions a fraction is another way in which the value of particular percentage is represented. So here you in the first example you have 40 percentage. So 40 percentage is same as 2 by 5. To convert a percentage into fraction divide the percentage by 100 right. So divide the percentage by 100. So 40 by 100 it gives you 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 is the equivalent fraction of the percentage 40 percentage right. Similarly to convert the fraction into percentage you have to multiply it by multiply the fraction by 100 so 2 by 5 into 100 you get 40 percentage similarly you have to keep some fractions in your mind so it will make the percentage operation simple so 100 percentage means you have a complete quantity so it is 1 so you have 1 on 1 so it is 100 percentage 50 percentage means 1 by 2 33.33 percentage means 1 by 3 25 percentage means 1 by 4, 20 percentage means 1 by 5, 16.66 percentage means 1 by 6, 14.28 means 1 by 7, 12.5, 1 by 8, 11.11, .11, 1 by 9, 10 percent, 1 by 10, 9.09, 1 by 11, 8.33 percentage, 1 by 12. So you have to keep these fraction and percentage values in your mind, right? Now, 0.12.5 percentage of 648816. So which we saw, saw in the previous picture. So let us solve this problem using fraction. So 12.5 percentage means we know it is 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 is 12.5 percentage. So instead of writing 12.5 by 100, we can make it as 1 by 8. So multiply 648816 with 1 by 8. So if you cancel 648816 with 8, you get 8 8 are 64, 1 times 8, 1 times 8, 0 times 1 and 2 times 16. So 8 double 1 0 2 is 12.5 percentage of 64 double 8 1 6. It's so simple right? Now you have an another example 14.28 percentage of 343 plus 11.11 .11 percentage of 918. We can use the same method. So instead of 14.28 we can make it as 1 by 7 and 11.11 .11 percentage we can make it as 1 by 9. So let us solve this numbers so 7 into 49 343 102 into 9 is 918 so at 49 plus 102 you get 151 so 151 is the answer of this question 14.28 percentage of 343 plus 11.11 .11 percentage of 918 moving to an another example find 87.5 percentage of 6488 so we don't have any equivalent fraction of 87.5 percentage 
instead you can create a new fraction so we know 100 percentage is 1 right so 100 percentage means 1 and 12.5 percentage means 1 by 8 so 100 minus 12.5 we get 87.5 right so 1 minus 1 minus 8 1 minus 1 by 8 we get 7 by 8 so 7 by 8 is 87.5 percentage so instead of 87.5 percentage we can make it as 7 by 8 right now let us solve uh, this question using 7 by 8 so 7 by 8 into 6 4 double 8 so cancel these numbers 8 8 are 64 1 8 are 8 1 8 are 8 so 7 into 8 double 1 we get 5 6 double 7 so 5 6 double 7 is 87.5 percentage of 6 4 double 8 right last example find 33.33 percentage of 816 so you can write it as 33.33 by 100 into 816 or you can write the equivalent fraction so equivalent fraction of 33.33 is 1 by 3 right so 1 by 3 into 816 so cancel it you get 2 times 7 times 2 times so 272 is the 33.33 percentage of 816 but if you use the traditional method 33.33 by 100 into 816 you get approximately 271.9 right however the answer is going to same right so you can use the fraction instead of percentage to make the operation simple i hope that you are getting this concept clearly and you are understanding the importance of the fractions percentage equivalent of fractions right now before winding up this video please subscribe my channel like the video click the bell button share it to your friends and if you have any doubt regarding this topic, please pause it on the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.